So this is the first time that we've practiced baptisms here. You guys got like a front row seat. So like get your phones out and all that stuff. You're like in the splash zone at SeaWorld. But we're going to see how this thing goes. And we've had some people that weren't planning on getting baptized today. They met me out here. So I'm going to keep pushing that bell. You almost feel a sense. As Colleen and I have been praying over the last couple days and even this morning, like there may be some guys here that just even like for setting the example in their families that they might need to take this step of obedience. And so I don't know if that's for someone. I'll let the Holy Spirit work on you. If you're feeling uncomfortable right now, that's probably the Holy Spirit talking to you. So you can get baptized this morning. We're going to go ahead and get started with Matthew Matroka. Come on up here, Matthew. Matthew would like to say a little bit of why he's getting baptized today. You can just speak right into that, buddy. So the um, it's on. Yep. So the reason I want to get baptized is because, well, when I was in church, I never used to actually sing, but one time mom actually wanted me to sing. So actually, instead of singing, I actually moved my lips to make it look like I was singing. But then in church, I it saw that, well, if you sing, you are putting your trust in Jesus. And that's why I sing every day now. And that's why I really love Jesus. And I try to put my heart in him every time I, I am. There you go, buddy. You're going to be on the worship team one day. All right, buddy, step on in. Come on in here. I'll help you in. Are you good? So I want you to sit right up here. Put your feet out that way. Go ahead and sit. Move up a little bit. You all right? You're good. All right, good. Remember what I said to cross your arm, cross your chest, grab your wrist like this. All right. Matthew, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Yes. Yes. Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised to newness of life. Good job, buddy. Come on up. God, God. All right, who's next? Caleb? Are you wanting to say anything, Caleb? All right. <laughs> Caleb's a man of few words. Get in there, buddy. Go ahead and sit right here in the middle. Feet up there. All right. Go ahead and put your arm across your chest and then grab, grab your wrist there. Good. Caleb. Have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Good. Based on that profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death, raised to newness of life. There you go, buddy. Good job, man. Hey, babe, can you just lay a couple of those across there? That'd be great. All right, who we have next? Dwayne, come on, Dwayne. Dwayne, you want to say something? No? All right, go ahead and get in that tub. So Vanessa was an instrumental part in Dwayne coming to faith, so Vanessa's actually going to be baptizing Dwayne here this morning. Let's go ahead and scoot up a little bit there, bud. All right, do you remember what to say, what to ask him, all that? Okay. Dwayne, have you place your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation. Yes. Based on that profession of faith, Vanessa baptizes you in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, go ahead and pace him back, <laughs> raised to newness of life. Woo! Woo! Are you all right? Go next. Allison? Come on up, Allison. <laughs> Allison's the one that's setting the example. She had no plan of doing this today. And so here she is. She's following Jesus into the waters of baptism. Let's go, girl. You want to say anything? Good. All right. Go on in there. Go ahead and sit towards the middle of feet out that way. Okay. Yep. <laughs> 
We started off with hot water, but then we used up all the hot water, so it turned cold. <laughs> Allison, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Yes. Based on your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised the newness of life. Who wants to go next? Jason Gatenopoulos? Yeah. Jay Gate? No. <laughs> He's wondering. Don't drop the mic. Jeremy, I won't electrocute myself despite your best efforts. Um, so Jer Jason said something about obedience this morning. Um, and if you're ahead of a family this morning, don't wait. I, I waited a whole year. And I should have been with my wife uh, last year to do this. Um, but I'm here now, so that's the important thing. Hey, like that song, my yesterday's gone, I'm here today. So Jason, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Yes. Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised to newness of life. All right, we got Pastor Reese coming to the stage. Woo! I know Pastor Reese wants to share some words, so you can get, grab that mic from Colleen. I'm going to do this before I get in the water, because my luck, I'd drop it. Uh, but I made uh, the decision back in the summer, uh, hanging with my dad one, one uh, evening, about giving my life truly to the Lord. I had done it in first grade, but really didn't understand what that meant. And this guy walked me through what it meant after we watched a, a Christian film. Uh, and uh, it was really just a father to father to father experience that really meant a lot to me. And over the years, I've wanted to be baptized, and one thing led to another. I wanted him to be able to do it, and then being a pastor, being away from family, schedules never aligned. And so here we are today, finally able um, to have my dad be the one that uh, baptizes me in front of all of you. So it's going to be great. It's awesome. Thanks. You want me to say it? I got it. I got it. I see what you're doing there. Reese, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Based on your profession of faith, faith your Father baptizes you in the name of your Heavenly Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised in newness of life. Amen. Amen. awesome. If you've been thinking about being baptized, now is your chance. Don't let any inconvenience stop you. Don't let your hair stop you. Don't let your not having a towel or clothes stop you. Today is a defining moment or could be a defining moment in your life. Ready? All right, you can come on out. What's your name again? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Aaliyah is another one of those who decided in the moment that she wants to get baptized. She called her mom. Her mom made it. It's so good to have you. Do you want to say anything, Aaliyah? Okay. Go ahead and step in. I can give you a hand if you'd like. I'm going to have you sit right here in the middle. Feet out this way. All right. Aaliyah, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, buried with Jesus in death, raised to newness of life. Yeah. You hear that? All right. Anyone else? We got the Knowles coming out. All right, Sam, Abby, you come on out. 
Yeah. All right. So we're going to actually do a, a cup of family baptism here as well as a child dedication. And so Andy and Carly, if you're close by, wouldn't mind. Oh, there you are right in front. Come on up. You know, this is a unique opportunity that as a church, so one of the things that we observe is believers baptism, but also uh, children dedications. And the difference between the two is again that that Sam and Abby are making this decision for themselves to, to believe in God and to enter into the waters of baptism before little Finley here. She's a beautiful thing, but she doesn't quite yet understand what's going on. One of the things that we see in the New Testament is that uh, when Jesus was born, Jesus' parents brought him to the temple and they dedicated him toward, to the Lord. And so what we like to do as a church is really just identify children as gifts of God dedicate them before the Lord, dedicate Carly and Andy as parents for Finley, and really dedicate us as a church to come alongside Carly and Andy in the raising up of this child in the ways of God. And so it's a three dedication process. If you thought you were off the hook today, we're going to be dedicating Finley that all of God's plans and purposes for her would come to fruition, that that she would grow in passion and pursuit of who he is, that she would come to faith at an early age. We're going to dedicate Andy and Carly as Finley's parents, that, that people would, uh, or that the Holy Spirit would empower them to lead her in the ways that, that she should go, that her unique uh, uh, gifts and abilities would be clear, and that they would help usher that flame and, and feed that flame, but then also pray for dedication of the church for us to come alongside to support them. I know that it's important to them that uh, Faith and Kyle Degg have been uh, their uh, godparents for Finley. And so we want to recognize them specifically as well that, that they are, are making this commitment to come alongside Carly and Andy in the dedication of this child to train this child up in the ways of God and to support them in any way possible. And so we're going to pray for Finley first, then we'll go ahead and we'll baptize Sam and Abby this is a big day for you guys as a family. If you would, would you just extend your hand in prayer towards the Knoll family? Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for your love for each one of us here and specifically for this little baby family. Thank you for how you have uniquely wired her for the plans and purposes that you have specifically for her. And so our prayer is that your plans and purposes would come to pass as she grows and as she comes to faith and as she, she just uh, goes through this life that you would bless her, give her favor, that she would be one of the greatest little women of her generation. I pray specifically for Carly and Andy that you would bless them as they parent this child, as they lead this child in the ways of God, as they teach her about you and all that you've done for her through the sending of your son to die for her sins. I pray for Faith and Kyle as they come alongside Carly and Andy as, a, as God parents to Finley that you would empower them to train up this child in the ways of God. And then us as a church that we would support them, encourage them, um, just come alongside them to, to help see a, a new generation of people place their faith in you and, and change the world to influence the culture in which you placed us. And so we dedicate Finley, we dedicate Andy and Carly, we dedicate ourselves, this church body, to you for the plans and purposes that you have for this little girl. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We have a little Bible for Finley. It's right over here on the end of that seat there, Kyle. And as we thought about um, what we might share with Finley specifically in, in a verse for her, you probably already know this, but Finley's name means fair-headed warrior. Look at her. She's ready to take on the world. So we write, we write this to Finley in your Bible. Your name means fair-headed warrior. We love that. And as we prayed for a verse to declare over you in light of your name's meaning, we thought of Psalm 28, verse 7. It says this, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. May God bless you as you keep your eyes on him. So as you are a warrior in this world, 
remember that Jesus is your strength and your shield. There you go. Amen. All right, Sam and Abby, you want to go first? Okay, why don't you go ahead and hop in. So this is Sam, or Andy and Carly's oldest son, Sam. Why don't you go ahead and take a seat there, buddy? Ooh, this is cold. It's a little chilly. All right. Go ahead and put your arm across your chest and grab your wrist with your other hand. Yep, that's good. Sam, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Yes. Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised to newness of life. Good job, bud. Need a hand out? All right, Abby, you can go ahead. You good? Yep, go ahead and sit. All right. Yep, arm across your chest, grab it, great. Now, Abby, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for salvation? Based on your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in death, raised to newness of life. Good. Good. All right. Last chance. Going once. Don't let inconvenience stop you. Going twice. The food trucks can wait. The inflatables can wait. All right. Well, thank you for being with us here today. As you see those who were baptized today, come alongside them, encourage them, you know, give them high fives. You know, as a community of faith, we, we come alongside of each other to encourage each other, to challenge each other in our faith journey. And so we got to witness those who followed Jesus into the waters of baptism here this morning. Thanks for being here with us today. Glad that you came to worship with us. Hope you have a great week. If there's anything I can do to pray for you, please let me know. Thank you.